Hey everyone, John from strugglingforpurpose.com and today I am reviewing the CSB Holy Land Illustrated Bible. And I have to tell you, the first thing that I noticed about this Bible was its weight. This is a chunky book. I don't think you'll be holding this in one hand for long while you're reading it. Uh, but here's the other thing that I noticed is that the pages are very white and the text is nice and black. And the pages turn easily. They don't feel too thin. And flipping through the Bible, I found the color pictures to be vibrant and the layout easy to figure out without reading through the features section in the beginning. Now let me tell you a little bit about this Bible before I get into my actual review. So this is from the publisher. The CSB Holy Land Illustrated Bible is a visually immersive Bible reading experience featuring over 1,200 images, maps, and illustrations to provide greater insight and understanding of the people, places, and events of Scripture. Book-specific introductions provide the setting and the circumstances of writing for each book, and every image includes a descriptive caption to help better understand what is pictured. Like I said, 1,200 images or more. There's maps, there's illustrations. There's 275 full-length commentary articles. There's these digging in deeper call-outs that there's about 40 or so of those. It's got two column text, which I'll show you in a moment. It's got a 9.5 font. It's small, but not so small that I feel like I have to really strain in reading it. Again, the text is very black, very easy to read. There are two of these ribbons for keeping your place in the Bible. There's, of course, a concordance. This thing is seven inches wide right here. It's uh, nine and three quarters of an eighth inch tall, and it's two and a quarter inch thick when closed. It weighs about three pounds, 13 ounces. Like I said, a really heavy Bible. My wife took this to church with her this past Sunday, and I mean, she was using it, but we noticed a few very interesting things about this Bible that I want to point out. Uh, the first thing is some of the page coloring is a little bit uh, confusing. You can tell that the, the pages of Scripture are, are white. But what happens sometimes is when you get to some of these, um, these descriptive sections like this here, you can see that's got this little tan look to it. It will slowly fade to another color at some of them. Um, trying to find one that has the best. Ah, here's a good one. So here's, here's this one here. And then you can see when you go to the next page, it just gets a little bit lighter. I would have preferred if it stayed this darker color so that I could easily identify that. Another thing that I noticed is the way some of the scripture passages are, are broken up. This can be difficult if you're, if you're trying to read. If you notice here in Acts chapter 13, the chapter starts right down there. And then there are these pages of description that you have to go through before you can get to verse 2. So it does make reading a little difficult if you run into one of these sections because you got to flip through a couple pages. So I think as a daily reader, this probably isn't going to be something that you want to read. But certainly for uh, if you're just kind of going through a passage and you want to uh, learn a little bit more about that passage, you're going to want to pick this pick this Bible up. The other thing I notice is that these two ribbons, they're very close in color, so it makes it a little bit difficult to differentiate between the two of them. And like I said, this thing is heavy. My, my arm is already getting tired holding it. I'm going to switch hands here. This is not one of these Bibles that you're going to walk around with and carry around. It's really meant to be kind of up on your shelf, and when you're ready to do a study and you want to get a bunch of Bibles out and have stuff out in front of you, 
this is going to be what you're going to grab. You're going to grab the Holy Land Illustrated Bible if you want to dig a little bit deeper into how the setting affects it, how the, how the people were perceived. It's a really nice Bible, I'll say, for, for studying, but I don't really think it's good, will be good as a daily reader. I'm pretty happy with the book overall. This is a hardback version. There's a softbound version. There's a, what they call a leather touch. So you have your options available to you. I'll have links in the description of this video to where you can pick this Bible up. And I also hope that you'll check it out. As always, I don't really go into critiquing the translation when I'm looking at a Bible. I'm really only looking at the other components of it. As usually happens when I'm reviewing a Bible on this channel is I have an opportunity to give one away. And so here's what we're going to do. There is a blog post associated with this review over on my site at strugglingforpurpose.com. If you go over to that blog post and you enter the contest there, I will be picking someone within the next two weeks who will receive a copy of this Bible. Like I said, I've reviewed a lot of other Bibles. Here's the Life Essentials Bible. Here's the He Reads Truth Bible. And here's the Day-by-Day -day Chronological Bible. It's still, in the, it's, I've got it in the box. This is a leather one. I really like this one. Um, let me just show it to you there. There's that. So I'm, I'm really been happy with these CSB Bibles that um, have come out from Holman. And I hope that you, if you've been a recipient in the past of one of these, I hope that you are happy with them too. That's going to do it for this video. As always, if this has been informative, entertaining, or, or whatever, you know, if you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and you're supposed to ring that bell. And so you get those notifications. I appreciate you watching these videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.